Hey friends, John McLennan here, and in this video you're gonna learn how to play Under My Thumb as recorded by the Rolling Stones on guitar. I'm gonna show you a main acoustic guitar part that goes through the entire song. We're gonna break down all the sections, so when you're done with this video, you'll be able to go and play right along with the original recording. Before we dive into it though, I want to hook you up with something right away and put something in your hand. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack. And these are some exclusive downloads and handouts that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. And they're just going to make learning from my lessons so much easier and more effective. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Under My Thumb as recorded by the Rolling Stones on guitar. We're gonna start off with the intro chord progression. It's four bars long and it repeats. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. So I'm using three chords to play this. The first one is F sharp minor. And I'm playing that here at the second fret. I'm using a bar chord. It's gonna go two, four, four, and then two, two, two. So it's a standard F sharp minor bar chord here with a root on the sixth string. Now I use my thumb to play that chord like this. And it's a little bit of a more advanced way of playing it but you can play whichever's comfortable for you. So we're gonna play F sharp minor for a bar, then we're gonna go down to E. And this is open, two, two, one, open, open. And then our last chord is D. That's just a typical D chord, open, two, three, two, starting on the fourth string there. So we've got F sharp minor, E to D. Now the first two chords are one bar each. So one, two, three, four, change, two, three, four. Then when we get to the D, we're gonna hang out on that chord for two bars. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So all together, it would sound like this, just strumming once per chord per bar. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. Now, if you wanna add some strumming to that, I would recommend mixing it up with these two different patterns. The first pattern is gonna go like this. And we're gonna use that over the first two chords. So I'm playing two quarter notes one and two and, and then I'm gonna go three and four and. So that would be one and two and three and four and, or if you thought about the strumming directions, you could think down, 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 up, down, up. And then you go to the next chord, down, 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 up, down, up. So that's the first two bars. Now when we get to the next two bars, we're gonna play. And this is a strumming pattern that I stole right off the recording. It goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So it's a two bar figure. We're gonna play quarter, quarter, then eighth quarter. Then we'll play an eighth that ties over to the next measure. So one, two, and three and four and. Then one and two, three and four and. That's up, down, down, up, down, up, that it finishes with. So all together, if I count the strumming directions, down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So I'm gonna put it all together. So we've got the first two chords, F sharp minor to E with the one pattern. And then when we land on that D, we do the alternate strumming pattern. Let's try it. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and 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 three, and four, and, and again, down, 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 up, down, up. So 
So that's gonna be our intro, and it's also used for the guitar solo. There's also like an electric part that's like, kind of playing higher triads, but this is the main chord progression that's going underneath that. So then we're gonna continue that two more times or eight bars for our A section. So I'll play that for you now. One, two, three, four. So that's gonna be our A section. And again, if you're having trouble, just click the link below where you can get the handout. Now the B section here is our next part, and that goes like this. One, two, three, four. All right, so this is a 10 bar section and we're gonna use a few new chords. We're gonna start with two bars of A and I'm playing that from the fifth string down, just open, two, 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 open. Then I go to D for a bar and then a B bar chord. This is at the second fret, two, four, four, four starting on the fifth string. So two bars of A, one of D, then one of B. So for the strumming with this section, I'm gonna play the first bar that we used for our intro and A section. So that rhythm was quarter, quarter, eighth, 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 or one and two and three and four and, or with the strumming directions, down, 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 up, down, up. So we'll keep that the same and then we'll apply that to the progression. So it's gonna go one and two and three and four and stay there. Then D, then B. Okay, now the next part, the next line down goes F sharp minor, E, D, A. And we stay on this A for four bars. So we have one bar in there that's a split bar, and that's where we have two chords per bar. So I'm playing an F sharp minor for a bar. Then I'm gonna go E to D in the same bar. So what I do there is I go one, two on E, and then three and four and on the D. So just splitting that up, again, using the same strumming pattern though. Then I go to the A, and I play the strumming pattern four times. Now those are all the sections. Now at the end of the tune, you just fade out on an A. So let's try putting everything together. We're gonna play the intro into the A section, into the B section, and when we finish, we'll just tag it with one final bar of A. Here we go, intro. A one, two, three, four. A section. B section. and on A. Congrats on making it through this song lesson. Be sure to rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear, and then go and try and put it together and play it along with the recording, so all the different parts, and just jam out with the Rolling Stones. 
Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my YouTube videos so much easier and more effective because you'll be able to follow along with all the handouts. Also, let me know what song I should teach here next on the channel, just comment it down below. And if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmcclennan.com. I've got a lot of great resources on there as well. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and we'll see you in another video real soon.